In this example, we're going to go ahead and find the second derivative of this function g, and the function is given by 3x divided by the square root of 3 minus x squared. So it looks like we're going to use the quotient rule, and in doing so, we're also going to use the chain rule. So let's go ahead and work this first derivative, and the quotient rule says it's low times the derivative of the high, so the derivative of 3x will be 3, minus the high, which is 3x, times the derivative of the low. So remember that the derivative of a square root function will be u prime over 2 times the square root of u. Okay, so let's go ahead and use that and say u prime, so negative 2x over twice the square root of 3 minus x squared. And that's all over the denominator squared. So when I square this square root, I'm just going to end up with 3 minus x squared. Okay, lots of good simplification that we can do. This will actually come down to a pretty nice expression. So let's go ahead and take a look. First, the 2 and the 2 here can cancel. This negative and negative can cancel to make a positive. So this 3 can come out front to make 3 times the square root of 3 minus x squared. Plus, and what I have here then is 3x squared over the square root of the 3 minus x squared. Let's make put this over a 1 right there, and then all that's over 3 minus x squared. Okay, so let's go ahead and get common denominators in that numerator here. And of course that common denominator is just going to be this square root, which is really nice because that square root is also present in this numerator, which means I'm going to be multiplying, and I'll get this, so plus 3x squared, all over, and then our common denominator was the square root here of 3 minus x squared, but that expression, 3 minus x squared, also exists in this larger denominator. So I can say 3 minus x squared to the power of, well, 1 plus this 1 half makes 3 halves. Okay, so let's go ahead also distribute through right there. I'll have 9 minus 3x squared plus 3x squared all over 3 minus x squared to the power of 3 halves. And again, that's very nice because those two cancel. So this first derivative, which looked a little unwieldy, actually came out to be not too bad of an expression. Okay, so first derivative is 9 over the quantity 3 minus x squared, and that's the power of 3 halves. So in order to do the second derivative, we're going to use the chain rule and quotient rule once again. So the quotient rule is the larger one, so low times the derivative of the high. But when we take the derivative of a constant like that, we just get zero, so we can ignore all that because it just zeroes out. Minus numerator times the derivative of the denominator, so there's three halves will come out front, times the three minus x squared, and then that's the power of one half now, because we took one from the power, and then multiplied by the derivative of the inside, so minus 2x, that's the chain rule part, and that's all over the square of this denominator. Well, right now this denominator is to the power of three halves, so when I square that, it's just going to be cubed. So 3 minus x squared cubed. Okay, once again, simplification that we need to work through. And I always tell my students, the calculus is not the hard part of calculus. It's the algebra that's the hard part of calculus. So let's see what we have. We have this 2 in the numerator and this 2 in the denominator that cancel. We have this negative and this negative that cancel to make a positive. This 9 times 3 makes 27. We have this x still over here, so let's not forget about him. And then we have the square root, or 3 minus x squared to the power of 1 half, all over 3 minus x squared cubed. So these are the same, so we could cancel here, and this 3 becomes a 5 halves when I subtract 1 from the power. 
So, my second derivative comes down to 27x all over 3 minus x squared, and that is raised to the power of 5 halves. So here's the second derivative of our original function, g, whose first derivative we saw here after doing quite a considerable amount of simplification. So here you go.